says it has been forever i know i was sneaking it because i was like what am i going to say i feel like i feel like a child coming home after like a long night of passing and i don't know what excuse to give my parents like what am i going to tell you guys why have i been away since i don't know. you guys forgive me <laughs> forgive me man mom not die this tra 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 anyway um i'm so happy to be back to recording you guys i'm like <laughs> So if this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Bella Mawagudu. I'm usually more coordinated than this. I'm usually more like well put together or whatever. But like I'm so excited because I haven't done this in a while. So if you're, this is your first time on my channel, hi, you're welcome. Hit that subscribe button because this channel is vibes, okay? This is vibes. This, I mean, gosh, excuse me. Excuse me. So if this is your first time on my channel, subscribe. I'll make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So marathon and subscribers. I know what you guys an explanation and like a reason as to why I have been MIA, right? MIA, right? Yes, MIA. But like, you guys, I just really wanted to get it right. I just really wanted to make sure that like, if I was coming to put out content, it won't be just rushed or something that is, you know, just anyhow. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to be creating this look and. Um, I'm going to be answering your questions because I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and I'm going to be answering all your questions. I haven't talked about pricing, so this is a video that have been to know how to price yourself as a beauty influencer or whatever. I talked about it in this video, so make sure you watch the entire video, watch the entire video, watch the entire video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not following me because that's where everything goes down. I'm mostly on Instagram, so if you want to talk... If you want to send me a message, anything, I'm always on Instagram, so yeah. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay. First of all, I look so weird with this hair not properly done and with my makeup not done. I look like, I don't even know what I look like. So anyway, I have you guys um, questions here and I'm just going to be answering. So first question, how and when did you start your makeup journey? The first time I ever owned a makeup kit, my mom bought it for me when I was in SS3. And it was about to be my graduation so she goes for me i can never forget it cost it three thousand naira, and she bought me foundation and like everything i needed basically so i want to say that's where the journey started and i know that before then i used to try to sneak and like put lipstick or paint my nails or like do, just do extra sha. and my mom was also happy with that when the time was finally right that's what like that my mom now got me my makeup kit right so i was happy so yeah, that's how and when. Please can you show us how you lip sync in your video edit it man? So when people have asked me this question. First of all, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you cannot understand. But then from New York City. I don't mind if you give me probably do like a tutorial type of thing but then I feel like there are already people that do these things that teach how to do this thing I know JOF Beauty on Instagram she has some nice classes on how you can um, learn so I'm just going to link her page her Instagram page in <laughs> you guys why am I being so calm you probably know that anyway let's just say I'm loading anyway so I'm going to link her Instagram page in the description for you guys so you can go and check that out i miss your youtube videos but my when will you do a new video <laughs> hi i'm here and i'm doing a new video i know so many people texted me about missing my youtube videos you guys you have no idea i think i missed you guys more but i really needed to like just get myself together before trying to come and start putting up any type of content my skincare routines let me know even like right now eh, i just started to have a skincare routine when i started using bona skincare a lot of my skin whatever has to do with my jeans by the grace of god my parents have good skin so i've never really had to worry so much about my skin i'm not going to call me a lie that i'm doing one thing or the other i'm really not <laughs> recently i started using like all this face elixir jade roller all these things <laughs> Do I see a difference? Not really, to be honest. But I'm working with this skincare brand right now and we're doing like an experimental thing. So if it works, then I can come and tell you guys like, oh, this worked for me or whatever. What apps do you use for editing and transition videos? I use iMovie and Final Cut Pro, but I hear that there are other really nice apps. 
like okay, my head kind master is nice in shorts is nice as well that's if you're recording with your phone so if you're editing with your phone those are like nice apps to use how did i learn makeup <laughs> i'm self-taught though my dear i don't learn from anybody well except all them beauty by excuse me except beauty by gg and who else Adia J. and like all these og people shall jackie aina it is not those people <laughs> I learned everything I know about makeup on YouTube. Every single thing. That's why when people ask me questions, I'm just like, see, yeah. anything you want to know, go to YouTube University and you will learn it. Like, YouTube is a whole union, it's own and it's free. How did you make friends in the beauty industry? So, first of all, I think that I have to credit Pashada with my friends in the beauty industry because um, she was already in the beauty industry and then, oh, if you don't know Pashada, Please, Pashada has been on my channel now. Yes, I have a video with Pashada and Ife. That's Pashada, so you have to kind of go and check out the video. I'll see if I can link it to this video. She basically helps me because she will um, talk about people to me and then I'll just follow them and then they'll follow me and we just became friends, I guess. That's kind of how that went. This makeup look is going left and right. I don't really know what my vision is right now, but let's keep it pushing. Anyway, yeah, so that was how I made friends. And then another thing is you also have to be friendly. So when people follow you, follow back, comment on your post, reply comments on, like, reply their comments on your post and you also comment on their own post. Um, repost their stuff. Be nice, genuinely nice. If you don't like somebody, you don't have to kiss up to them, no matter how many people are kissing up to them. That's one thing that me have sad learned. Because if I don't like your work or if I don't like what you do or whatever, I'm not going to act like I do just because you're popping. What is your bro? You guys, Pasella that I just talked about asked me why are you a good. What kind of, what, what was this? I'm going to just flip this question and you know assume that she means one of my the greatest of all time. And I can tell you, baby, it's by the grace of God. What can I say? You know, where do you see your career in ten years? Nine to five job of beauty influencing full time. Well, <laughs> already by the grace of God, I can do beauty influencing full time. It's by the grace of God because I feel like I had nothing to do with it. I just had to do my part and go when God says go. That's just that's all. You guys remember? I will always refer to 2019 because that was one very very challenging year for me and you guys remember i came here and i said it's not that me i don't know what i want to do in my life and i don't know where like my plans have all fallen into nonsense and i don't know what to do next but now look at me now being able to like do what i love so i believe i'm going to do beauty influencing full time except of course if god says otherwise like if tomorrow he just says okay Alema, you know what i don't want this beauty influencing for you anymore I want you to go into something else then of course I have to shift careers but then for now and until then beauty influencing full time for sure um, any tips for, um, for <coughs> English has failed me any tips for upcoming influencers or people going into the beauty industry yes I do have a lot of tips I'm going to say number one be yourself change your style eh? and then I'll <laughs> don't feel the need to do what everybody else is doing because let me tell you, everybody else is taking. Do you understand? Just do you. Nobody, nobody can do you like you or even better than you. It just, it just can't happen. So do you be yourself. Love, love what you're doing. If you're not feeling it on a particular day, don't feel pressure to record. That's one thing that I learned later on, and I wish I learned it much earlier. If you're not feeling it on a particular day, don't put that pressure on yourself. All in all, in total, stick to what works for you. For example, sometimes I do transition videos. Sometimes I do review videos other times i just do what makes me happy and what i feel like doing and that's what works for me so what was i saying yeah another tip for upcoming influencers this right if you do not like a product never 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 lie that you like it or if a product is not good don't ever lie to your community that you love the product or that is an amazing product because in this industry if you are if you want influence you have to be honest and people have to be able to trust that what you're saying is nothing but the truth like people legit have to have that 100 percent trust in you that you will not lie to them and if you recommend a product then it is a good product that's one thing that i make sure that i always stick by i know sometimes you want to be nice because the brand was nice to you or whatever but then the brand didn't have a choice but to be nice to you because they needed stuff from you they needed you to do stuff for them so don't ever lie and many times the truth is this year when you give a bad review 
or when you give an honest review about a brand or about a product the brand tends to respect you more because they know that you're not shitting them and then your review is a way for them to get better so i feel like you should never ever 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 lie about how you feel or what you think oh, i've cleaned my eyebrow how you feel or what you think about a product okay just like any other career you can make a whole lot of money in the beauty industry you just have to know what you're doing and you have to know why you're entering into the industry because if it's to receive free products that's why you want to enter the beauty industry at the point free products will not do you again right now i have more than enough makeup to wear like you cannot pay me with free products you cannot pay me with free products there's no product i want that i cannot buy by the grace of god <laughs> so yeah how long have i been into makeup since ss3 hey, almost ss3 was how many years ago 20, 2012 so this is 2028 20, years but like as a profession i'm not a makeup artist by the way you guys i'm not a makeup artist i don't even i don't do other people's makeup except people that are close to me or if i have to like just assist somebody or something i don't i don't do like home service or people's makeup or whatever i thought about joining the industry but it's still something on my mind like the artistry part of it but i'm not passionate about that part of that part of makeup at all the influencing part is what i am passionate about so i've been into makeup for eight years long as shows where do i draw inspiration from hello nigeria my people oh, oh mommy let me not come and give me people aspire to inspire yanzo the truth is that i just know the kind of life i want to live and i know the kind of woman i want to be so every day I just wake up and work as hard as I can to become that woman and then I don't compare myself to other people. Of course I see other people's journeys and I um, admire where they are or how far they've come but I don't like, how do I explain, I don't compare myself to them. I'm happy for them, I clap for them when they win but then I don't, I, I don't compare myself. Okay so the next question is which university did I attend? I attended Stroke Attend Covenant University. I attended CU for my uh, BSc from 2012 to 20, what, 2016, right? Then I started my MSc last year. Abby? Yes, no. Then I started my MSc last year, October. So I'm getting my master's degree in marketing currently. So. Yeah. Somebody asked me what school are you in and what level? <laughs> I'm your mommy. Oh. I'll be your mama. Oh. Don't forget to. I'm your mommy. <laughs> I'm doing my MSc in Covenant University. I'm not in like 100, 200, 300. That was like a couple of years ago. How do I stay consistent? Ha. Honestly, it's not easy. I just make sure that I have like a content plan so in a, in a month I can say okay this month I'm dropping 15 videos on Instagram or 21 videos on Instagram whatever number of videos right and I know I have to make it happen so just the fact that I know I have to make it happen is enough reason for me to stay consistent and then I try to post every other day as opposed to every day like some people do not, not because every day is bad every day is okay but then I know myself and I know that if I say let me post every single day I'm going to feel the pressure and then I'm just going to put out content for the sake it's going to become about the posting every day and not about the content and that's what I don't want to do yeah that's kind of how I stay consistent I just pace myself and I have my content kind of planned out because sometimes certain things are just impromptu but majority of the time I have content planned out for the month um <laughs> how do you come up with content ha okay it depends so if it's youtube content honestly right now i don't have a plan my youtube content is just i started feeling for body <laughs> but my ig content is like this yes all my videos are creating makeup looks right so i have this let me show you guys okay so i have this thing where i have different makeup looks written inside i think there are about 120 looks normally the song i'm using affects the look that i'm creating for some reason i don't know why but like when i like a song if you're you need to follow me on instagram to really understand what i'm saying right now because my ig videos are song themed or how let's say it you have to go to my instagram and follow me so anyway when i listen to a song the song just gives me a particular type of vibe and then that's the kind of content that i will create for that particular song however if the content is determining the song then i just pick a look 
from here. Let me show you an example. So like I have, I just shuffle it and then pick one. So this one says, um, what's this? Sunset. So my look will be inspired by the sunset. And how ironic is that that I have like orange and like this whatever today. Anyway, so yeah, that's how it goes. So when I pick a look, then I pick a song and then I listen to, see, I can listen to one song 50 times to be able to get like, okay, this one I'm going to dry this part, this one I'm going to dry this part, this is where it transitions with coming. It's a lot of work that goes into like creating content and creating videos for me because I don't like to do things like haphazardly because then what's the point? What, what, why would I do that? So anyway, yeah, that's how I come up with content. The music I listen to and my handy friend over here. How do you cope with school life and creating content? Listen, I want to say that I am so blessed and fortunate that Corona happened when Corona happened for me because this has been one of the best times of my life and I can honestly say that it is the grace of God because I, this period God has favored me the most. So fortunately for me, I have had a whole semester of school online, right? So content creation has been very, very conveniently easy due to the fact that I don't have to be, to physically be in class to attend class and then I know when I'm having all my classes and then there's no moving up and down. I have, like my schedule is easy to plan. Honestly, if I could have online class all my, like for the rest of my school year, I will gladly. So yeah, this lockdown and this whole COVID thing has really, really helped me with content management. Now, how am I going to do this when school finally resumes? I don't know yet, but the same God that showed me how to do it and manage stuff now will also show me what to do when school resumes, okay? And then when I was in school, I wasn't really consistent on YouTube or Instagram, to be honest, because you see after I finished dealing with one lecturer in class, or oh, one funky lecture that I don't understand. I'll now come and start doing classy busy ratchets for you. Classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. Sassy. I'm still trying to figure out what my passion is so I can turn it to profit. Any advice? Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this one. I think that when it comes to the topic of passions, eh, I feel like your passion changes with different seasons in your life. Because once upon a time in my life, I was extremely passionate about fashion design. I didn't think I would ever not be a fashion designer like and it was for years i was just constantly on my fashion design journey i was going to go to uni for fashion marketing so like yeah it was like i applied and i got my admission and everything that was like my number one passion in life and then one day it just changed i just didn't that wasn't what i wanted to do anymore i just wasn't passionate about it anymore ah even as early as this year i got very very passionate about blogging I wanted to write. I just really, really wanted to write. And then I wrote for a while, and then the passion fell through. And I just wasn't passionate about it anymore. And so I feel like your passion changes with every season in your life. However, there are just some things that will stick. Like talking has always been my thing. Like right from when I was younger, like I, would, I, I can talk for Africa. I can sit down here and talk. Like this talk that we're talking, I can talk to you tomorrow. My lord. I want to be forward in your, in your court. May I? My lord, may I? May I approach you, my lord? But some people, they, they cannot. It's just, it's, it's, it's not their thing to just sit down and talk. So I feel like one thing also is that we also need to identify what seems very easy to do for you and see how you can monetize it. Like now, I like doing my makeup and I like talking, so I create review videos. You see, so, and then I charge for my review videos, so it's, it's kind of like combining my passion for makeup and my passion for talking and then combine it into a review video so if you can identify like one or two things that you really enjoy doing and you can merge them i promise you'll find a business idea there and then if you don't you can just do it again just look for another set of two things or three things or even just one thing that you really enjoy doing for some people it's drawing some people is you know different people have different things that um, kind of spark that fire in them so if you can find what that is or if you can find that thing that's super easy for you to do for some people is assignments some people just like assignments they just like it when they can do assignments for people or when they can help people do projects or stuff like that follow that and then find a way okay if you like doing projects and assignments obviously your target market is um people in their final year of msc or bsc 
find those people and offer to do their projects for a particular price. Don't do it for free. Okay? You can just sit down in your house and make money. Drink water and mind your business. What weird habits do I have? What weird habits do I have? Oh, oh I know a weird habit I have. Online shopping. I just like to shop online. But then I won't buy anything. I'll just like put stuff in my cart. And that was just it. What's my favorite food? I think that I like chicken and plantain. And seafood. No, seafood is number one. Then chicken, turkey, plantain. I think that's it. That's with my heart. If you send me seafood or if you send me like plantain, chicken, I cannot even, I cannot vex again. I cannot be angry. Like, I, I can't. Seafood, especially. Like, I like prawns and like just seafood, like a seafood platter or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's like my favorite thing to eat. So, next question is Would you advise a content creator to buy two softbox lights? Or one LED light. Um, I currently use two softbox lights, so I think that I will favor two softbox lights because my lighting is pretty good right now, and this is what I've been using: two softbox lights and one ring light. My ring light is directly behind my. Let me let me take a video so I can show you guys what it looks like. So this is my current arrangement, and my ring light is directly behind my camera. Then I have two softbox lights facing directly behind directly on the walls beside me so because my wall is white sorry off white it bounces off the light very beautifully so this setup works but i don't know about an led light i've never used an led light before for my videos so yeah um, somebody said i think education or some finances and investments will be a good one i'm yearning to learn hey one more let me not lie i'm not the best first thing when it comes to finances because honestly when I get money the first thing that comes to my mind is to go and save to put in piggy vest I will not lie that's that like even though I don't know what exactly I'm saving for but like I'm such a I don't know I have that habit of just saving I, I enjoy going to my piggy vest and saying that I have money there but then I learned that that's not a good thing because the value of money depreciates over a period of time so like at the beginning of this year 5,000 naira the value of 5,000 naira was higher than it is right now sadly so my 5k at the beginning of this year it has less value right now yes it's still 5,000 naira but the value of that money has appreciated so it's better to invest your money so that when you pull it out at any point in time um, the money still has value at that current time if, if you understand what I'm saying it's a finance thing I don't know how to explain it but yeah Time value of money shall appreciate and depreciate. But if you want to save, I would advise that you save in dollars. Mommy, see the dollar. Oh, 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 oh. Naira right now is just, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> so if you can save in dollars, when the dollar drops to maybe like 360, which by the grace of God, grace of God, I was to pray for that one. But I don't know that it will be dropping to 360 anytime soon. But hopefully it does. If it drops to 360, I have to 6k. Change it to hundred dollars and save it. By the time eh, what's called it rises again, you can now change your money. And actually, I did have money in my um, PVS dollars in my PVS, and I changed it when it was about when I changed it for about three sixty five, and then I pulled it back when it was four hundred and ten or four hundred and twenty. So I gained a bit of money then. So yeah, my my number one investing or financial advice will be to save in dollars, and then don't just save money and keep it because the value of money depreciates definitely find a way to make sure that the money just keeps working for you. How do you think I can cope with creating content and not failing in school? My love, <laughs> time management is key. That's one thing I know. Time management is 100% key. And I would say one thing that I know works is filming in bulk. So like let's say you have, maybe in school you have a free day. Like let's say your Tuesdays are freer than every other day try to record like three videos on tuesday i know it sounds like a lot yeah but then it will save you so much time as opposed to recording one video every day do you understand so record your three videos on tuesday edit them on another day when you have time filming in bulk will always be the answer when you have school to concentrate on okay i hope i have answered your question and then remember prioritize school will always come first for you or rather school should always come first for you since i think you're doing your BSc, I don't know. But school should always come first for you because your education is important, okay? School should always, always, always be your number one priority. So I'm a med student. Oh, same person is a med student. Okay. 
school school my dear school focus on school your school fees is not cheap okay so she says that we met students and i'm trying to be consistent consistent at this ig thing oh that was the beginning of the question so the question was so i'm a med student and i'm trying to be consistent at this ig thing how do you think i can cope with creating content and not failing in school my dear you're a med student focus on that on that med school focus in a your concentration only when you have time should you now decide to create content for now please Please, we need you doctors, you are needed, so please focus on school, that's what I would say. Of course I understand the time factor of everything, right, but trust me, school is important, okay? IG is important, but school is very important, especially you that is in med school. Do Instagram when you can, and do content creation when you can, but then, school, please. I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, some of my new. I want to be a beauty influencer like you, but I have less than 1k followers, can I still do it? Of course! Of course, you just have to work on your engagement because brands look at that a lot. Like, if people engage with your post, if you're able to get the message across, because brands just want to make money, right? So, if you can make money for them, even if you have 1k followers, that's 1k customers that they did not have before that you now have, okay? So, your 1k is important. Don't think that it's too small for a brand to want to work with you. Trust me, <laughs> these brands, they know what they're doing. And then, you have to be consistent obviously and you have to your brand has to have like a like an identity so when a brand comes to your page you have to know for sure what you do not that today you're reviewing shoe tomorrow you're talking about week next tomorrow you're talking about food another day you're talking about travel right there has to be a direction of course you can branch into other areas but it has to be that core thing that you do that's very 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 important and once you have that figured out even if you have just one k followers brands will still reach out to you and you will still make your money okay so Numbers don't don't focus much on numbers except his engagement numbers and focus on that Okay, so I said I'm an upcoming content creator and beauty influencer How do I know the price to tell brands when hopefully they start reaching out because I have invested so much in my craft But at the same time, I don't want to chase the brands away with an expensive price <laughs> See, eh? I'm not lying to you. Every day, I keep adding to my price because I have invested a lot in my craft as well. So I feel like you can never overcharge. The right brand will pay you, and brands that know your value will pay you. Yes, that's the same. Me, I don't look forward to working with every single brand that looks that reaches out to me because not every single brand is for me. I don't know how to explain, but like when I was um, starting to price, right, I reached out to a beauty influencer that was that is way ahead of me, and she gave me this advice. She said. You have to know the types of brands that you want to work with. So that even if a brand comes and they are outside the the well, let's see, what do I what do I call it? Your prospective customers, right? You can say no kindly because they are not the kind of brand that you want to work with. You cannot work with just any and every, right? So if you chase away a brand, don't worry about it. Or if a brand says, oh, they can't work with you because of your prices, don't worry about it. They'll be back. I've talked about this on my IG. They will always be back. Think of them like your exes. They will be back. They will always be back. So just keep doing your thing. Keep working on yourself every time. Just continue working on yourself. The right brand will come and the right brand will pay you, like, outrightly, without even stressing you. If you even say, oh, I charge, let's say you do 50k per post, right? You say 50k per post, they'll be like, yes, okay, fine, one three post, 150k. Don't even worry about it. That's the kind of money you want. You don't want the one that will be dragging 5k with you. No. So if you're charging, if you feel like you want to charge, let's say, 20k per post, right? Charge your 20k per post. The rice brand will come and pay for it. That's that's just my thing. That's just what I believe in, okay? Like right now, any man doesn't want to work with me because of my price, please be going. Because I'm about to put in a lot of work into your video. I'm not recording my phone, I'm recording with a Canon camera. I have two cameras just in case. Like, I'm, see, see. One thing many people don't don't realize about me is this, yeah. You might just think that, oh, when this one started doing beauty influence in the child, let me tell you, I have three years in YouTube, right? I have two cameras that I use. I have two softbox. <laughs> what am I saying, two? I have four softbox lights, two extra, just in case anything happens to these two. I have a ring light. I have invested a lot. Final cost pro is 99,000 naira. Excuse me. I got a mark because of beauty influencing. Like, see, this is a lot of work I have put in. So, you're not just paying for my time or for my creativity. You're paying for everything that I have put into myself. So, you can't tell me that you want me to do a video for you and you want to give me 5k. You bring nonsense close to me. What do I want to use 5k to do? 5k can buy the bulb in my life. Do you understand? So because of how much work I've put into myself and my craft, I can charge how I want to charge my full chest because I know the value that I'm bringing. That's why I always tell people like invest in yourself, invest in your craft because that 
is where your money is gonna come from okay so yeah that i hope i have answered your question very well i don't think any price is too much to charge based on the value that you're going to deliver let me just put that out there you you cannot charge 50k per post or 120k per post and then not deliver quality no it's not allowed you have to deliver okay someone asked me what's my least favorite beauty item setting spray i don't like it <laughs> i don't know for some reason i just do i don't i just don't like setting spray because i don't see what it does for me no let me say i don't see what it does for me because i like my makeup matte matte like i like it like like as it is now like i just put powder on my face i feel like this is when it looks best people like dewy i don't like dewy finishing i like matte so setting spray gives you that dewy it takes away that powdery effect from your makeup but that effect me yeah, i like it how do you balance work and content creation right now content creation is work for me and then i have other things on inside but then those things are like easy for me to do with content creation so it's kind of like it's okay so i have marketing on inside that i do with brands like i can come up with a marketing strategy for you i can do like your marketing and stuff like that i do that for brands just on the side you have to know me and you have to know that i do that so you to reach out to me that one i get clients from referrals for that aspect of my business but then majorly i'm doing content creation and i'm doing school so there's not really is it, the balance is already there in a way if you understand what i'm saying how do you plan your content for the month or the year i don't plan for the year because things can change so in a month i plan typically 15 videos on my instagram but then obviously like a brand can reach out to me to work or to collaborate or something so i have to add that video so typically in a month i plan 15 videos for the month right so and then I, like okay maybe i have like three videos that i already know that i want to do and then the rest are just open slots for brands so like they're already brands that i work with every month so their videos are slotted into the open spots and then maybe i have like six other open spots for if a new brand reaches out to me so want to collaborate so i have that and then basically that's just what i do and then if a song comes out that i like i use the song or if i listen to a song and i'm like ah this song is clicking clicking with me or if i have an idea i just add that to the 15 videos typically i do about 18 videos but yeah i try to pace myself every time so i have a content calendar let me show you so i'm almost always writing i always have stuff to write so i found my content behind this book so this is basically what it looks like so i have a, a, a draw a calendar on here and then i just put the dates i don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a calendar i think this, yeah this is september so i have september contents written up here and then i have my goal for the month written here of what i want to do then i have okay this month was just have fun with it and be happy if you're not feeling it it doesn't if you're not feeling it don't record it that's just basically because i'm trying to remind myself every day if i'm not feeling it i don't have to record it and i don't have to post it so i have the days when i'm recording so remember i said recording bulk so i have i had the third fourth fifth and sixth where i recorded videos for the next two weeks so i had my post days where I have post, 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 post. And then I have my open days here, 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 here. So I have time to do stuff for my own self. Or if anything comes up, I have time to record an extra video. Then I have, um, then that's basically it. Then I have my song list here for the month. And then I have videos that I had to do, like maybe with brands that I work with or whatever, right here. So it's really simple for me. So some other people use different, um, method some people use apps right but for me writing and like pen and paper is still my favorite thing till now so that's how i found my content so i think i've answered basically every single question this was fun i don't know i think i'm going to do maybe my next video will be a makeup tutorial like a talk through or something i don't know tell me what you guys want to see what kind of content do you want to see i know you guys like my vlogs last year i don't know if you still want to see vlogs this year <laughs> I'll fire past 90% B for Nigeria, no be for mouths. Yeah. yeah, so we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys learned one or two things from this video and I was not just talking to myself. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and share the video. If you watch it to this point, comment. Comment yes, girlfriend. Yes, comment yes, girlfriend. That's something that people more randomly comment. So, yes, and you guys, do you like me blonde? What do you guys think about my blonde look? I just started this blonde movement, though. Don't be saying anything. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, that's really, 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 really soon because I missed you guys so much. And then we have a lot of juice. We have a lot to talk about. I have a couple of story times. And you know what? That's just, 
there's, there's a lot, okay? You know, we, we got a lot to speak of, okay? So, uh, hopefully, I see you guys soon. Can you hear all the noise outside? That's the reason why it's hard to listen. Why it's hard to film videos for you guys until it's about 2 a.m. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is long, you guys should watch it like that, okay?